<laughs> Look at me. Speaking of blushing, Phoenix, talked to my boss. Look at that. Just had a really good conversation with him. And we talked about some strategies and growth plans for the future of our company. And he was funny and we were talking and we were laughing and he was humorous and there was no hard feelings or bad stuff or anything. But because I fear the judgment of him at the end of the day, this is what we've got. And actually, speaking of that, I have a new video coming that talks about your background with codependency and judgment and trying to control what others think about us and feeling like we would have any sort of control to even begin with because one of my uh, great connections here on Instagram brought something up in regards to codependency and judgment and trying to control how people perceive us. And when you do that, this is what happens. Trying to control the outcome of something I have absolutely no control over. And by the way, if I put this on YouTube, this will be, I said Instagram, but you know what I mean. But anyway, this is the perfect example of us trying to control something. I'm literally like my hands are shaking. Um, I've worked with this man for almost three years. And he's fantastic. And he 100% supports me and my ideas. He thinks I'm like one of the greatest things that ever existed. And yet I carry so much pressure on myself that this happens every single time I talk to him. Now, I'm not on propranolol. I haven't taken that beta blocker in a while because I don't need to. I had on a sweatshirt actually when I was talking to him because I think he probably would have been like, what the hell is wrong with you? But this is what happens, guys. Speaking of blushing Phoenix with my shirt and this happening, that's what we got. So just want you to know you are not alone. And if part of this happens to you because you fear the judgment of others, especially people in authority positions, because I think about myself as a kid, when I was a kid, I had codependency, codependent tendencies because I was trying to control the environment around me to keep myself safe. It was a survival skill. And not that anybody was abusing me or hurting me, but I just, that's how I wired. I was wired to believe that if I perform well, I am loved. And if I don't perform well, I'm not loved. And that follows me into my corporate executive position because this person holds power over my position and my job and my money and my benefits and all the well-being of my life, which then affects my husband and my children, everything, my, my survival, my um, human survival skills. And so I have allowed my boss this power to have this happen to me. Now, if it was easy to get rid of, I would just be like, you don't hold that power over me anymore. And in fact, I there's so many areas of my life where that power is not distributed anymore. And yet this still happens because my body knows based off of the old story and the wiring that it's been taught, this is what we do. This is what we do. So just wanted you to know that you're in good company and I'm having a great day regardless. And I did not wear my shirt low like this. I had on a sweatshirt and it got super hot and very fearful of the judgment. And when I say fearful of the judgment, I don't mean like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared that he's gonna judge me right now. But even when I was waiting for him to join the call, I could feel my heart beating so fast. It's so crazy, huh? That's so freaking crazy. And knowing this guy totally adores me. And yet here we are. Anyway, hope your day is going better than this. <laughs>